The temple dancers were apprenticed at an early age, and usually for life. The disciplines of classical Hindu dance came from a 2,000-year-old work called the Natya Shastra, and remarkably, it is still being taught today. Classical dance is a comprehensive study. It is not only uh, the movement of uh, your body, it is a um, total uh, union of your uh, all your senses, uh, your body, mind and soul. Nayanam maduram hasitam maduram hridayam One obvious way in which these skills are still evident in modern Indian culture is in the dance routines of Bollywood films. But the complex vocabulary of gestures that these students are learning has been refined over centuries. It kind of uh, triggers your subtle emotions. In today's um, other uh, art forms, like which is more popular, like commercial art forms, uh, there is no place for subtle emotions. Like it is all very blatant and uh, very strong. But here, you can see how subtle can be strong. We also need to have that divine connection for people who really believe in it. There are uh, dancers who really believe in, you know, connecting it with the temple. It is very important that it goes beyond caste, creed, uh, nationality, because ultimately it's a language. Yeah, it has come out of the temples, but now uh, it's, it's, it's a totally different scenario. We have festivals organized by the temple authorities where dancers are invited to dance in the temple precincts. Classical dance is one aspect of temple culture that has found its way into mainstream Indian life and is now invited back into